Hello everyone, I'm Peng Fei Li from Huadu University of Science and Technology. Today I'm going to present our work, Relax, a scalable RDMA-oriented lens KVX store for disaggregated memory systems. Recent disaggregated memory systems separate memory, storage, and computing resources into independent ports for high resource utilization, flexible hardware scalability, and efficient data sharing. Different components communicate with each other via the RDMA networks due to the salient features, such as high throughput, low latency, and remote CPU bypassing. The disaggregated memory systems become prevalent in various applications, including databases and in-memory key-value stores. Tree-based and learned indices are two widely used structures for the ordered key-value stores. Among them, the tree-based structures search the data level by level, while the learned indices predict the positions via the machine learning models. In the disaggregated memory systems, the traditional RPC and tree-based schemes leverage the two-sided RDMA operations to process various requests. In this case, the compute nodes transfer the get and put the requests to the remote memory nodes via the network and wait for the reply. For example, EMT proposes an ERPC based math tree for the traditional distributed systems. However, the traditional RPC based schemes become inefficient in the disaggregated memory systems since the memory nodes have limited the computing resources to process the massive requests. Recent designs propose to catch partial index structures on the compute nodes and leverage the one-sided RDMA operations to access and modify the remote data. For example, FG and Sherman design bidding tree bit structures for the disaggregated memory systems to provide high performance. However, the tree bit structures incur huge memory consumptions when storing a large amount of data due to the multi-level inner nodes and the limits the local cache on the compute nodes fail to catch the whole index structure. As a result, the compute nodes have to split multiple network round trips on traversing the remote tree, which significantly decreases the overall performance due to the penalty of the network. Moreover, the performance further decreases when the trees become higher. Unlike them, the learned indexes such data via calculations, and the learned models achieve two to four orders of magnitude space savings than that in tree-based structures. Based on these observations, S-Store fully catches the learned indexes for high searching performance. In the disaggregated memory systems, the compute nodes read the remote data according to the prediction results of the learned models, which show significant improvements over tree-bit structures due to the low network overheads. However, for the dynamic workloads, the learned index transfers the modification requests to the remote side via RPCs and relies on the hybrid structures on the memory nodes to process the modifications. As a result, the local cache becomes invalid and the subsequent data requests are also transferred to the memory nodes via classic RPCs. The overall performance significantly decreases due to the limited computing resources of memory nodes. It's known to have to coalesce ordered KV stores in the disaggregated memory systems due to the following challenges. The first challenge is the computing bottleneck when transferring the various index operations to the memory nodes via the RPCs, since the limited computing resources in the memory nodes fail to process the massive data requests. Second, offloading different operations to the compute nodes meets the computing requirements, which however rapidly fills up the entire bandwidth. For example, the compute nodes consume a large amount of bandwidth to balance tree-bit structures, as well as fetch a large amount of data to retrieve models for the learning indices. The network bandwidth becomes insufficient to enable high performance for other data requests. Third, the inconsistent states occur when different compute nodes fail to atomically complete the date and model modifications. The local cache becomes dull when the models are updated. The compute nodes require multiple network round trips to guarantee data consistency.
incurring high overhead for consistency. To address these challenges, we propose Rolex, a scalable RDMA-oriented key-value store using lending license for the disaggregated memory systems. In the memory pool, Rolex stores all data into fixed-size leaves and constructs a retraining decoupled lending dice based on this data. The compute nodes locally catch the lending dices and leverage the one-sided index operations to access and modify the removed data. Rolex further leverages leaf tables to keep all data sorted for range queries and avoid the collisions among different compute nodes. Moreover, Rolex asynchronously retrain models in place on the memory nodes with the consistency guarantees. We first show the retraining decoupled learning index. The learned indexes view the relationship between the keys and the positions as a CDF, and learn the CDF with multiple error-bounded models. However, when some new data are inserted, point A moves back to A', prime, which is out of the prediction range, and incurs the data loss error. We have to retrain the models to recover the new positions, which blocks the system for a long time and decreases overall system performance. However, we observe that the learned indices don't require frequent retraining as long as the non-retrained models can find all data. To achieve this design goal, we modify the training algorithm by adding a bias dirt to the prediction calculations. In this case, we extend the blue block to the yellow one, and the models don't require retraining as long as the data move no more than data positions. However, the data move more than data positions when inserting or deleting a large amount of data. To further address these issues, we add two constraints on the data movements. First, we store and move data within data net leaves. Second, we construct synonym leaves when existing leaves have insufficient slots for the new data. And the synonym leaves are linked by the pointers. All leaves are stored in the continuous leaf region, and each leaf contains dirt pairs of keys and values. In the metadata area, we allocate eight best data to indicate the number of leaves that have been allocated. To atomically allocate a new leaf, we modify allocate number via the atomic FA operation, and then store data into the leaf pointed by the obtained alloc number, which avoids the collisions due to the atomic metadata management. The memory pool is shared across compute nodes, which supports the system scalability. The compute nodes read the learned models from the model region, and then efficiently assess the remote data according to the prediction results. We then show the structure of the learned model. Rolex trains multiple piecewise linear regression models on the leaves, and each model consists of four parts, including the covered smallest key, the model parameters, a leaf table, and a synonym leaf table. The obtained PRR models are indexed by training upper models on the smallest keys, whereas the upper models don't contain leaf tables. The leaf tables dot eight path entries to enable the consistent leaf modifications. The first slot in SLT is preserved to indicate how many slots of SLT have been used, which is modified when constructing new synonym leaves. Each entry consists of a lock, a leaf region number, a pointer, and a leaf number. The lock only locks the current leaf rather than all leaves. We use the leaf region and leaf numbers to determine the leaves, where the pointer points to an offset of SLT to link the synonym leaves. For example, the pointer of leaf 0 points to 3, indicating that leaf 0 has a synonym leaf stored in the third position of SLT, where this synonym leaf is stored in the sixth position in the leaf region. Next, we show the one-sided index operations. For a given key, the compute node searches the remote data via the following steps. First, predict the positions with the local learning indexes. Second, translate the leaf regions into physical addresses by looking up leaf table. Third, read leaves with double batching according to the physical addresses and further read the value according to the value pointer. Rolex conducts the insertion operation on compute nodes via the following phases. First, the compute node fetches the remote leaves like pointer query. 
Second, the compute nodes determine the leaf to be inserted and lock the leaf L insert. After locking, the compute node reads L insert and its synonym leaves to ensure that the data up to date. Third, the compute node inserts the data into the fetched leaves and unlock L insert via CS operation. When the fetched leaves have insufficient empty slots, the compute node constructs a new synonym leaf in the second phase. Within one double batching, the compute node fetches and increases the allocated number of the leaf region and the first entry of SLT by one via FAA. Then the compute node inserts the leaf number of the newly constructed synonym leaf into SLT and inserts the data. The rest are synchronously retrieved models on memory nodes by making an efficient trade-off between the computing complexity and the network bandwidth consumption. The memory pool maintains a circular queue to identify the pending retraining models, where the compute nodes insert the model pointer in the queue when the model consumes half of the slots in SLT. This step shows the consistency guarantee when the memory nodes concurrently retrain the leaves L1 to L5, where L5 is a synonym leaf of L3. During retraining, the compute nodes construct a new synonym leaf L8 of L5 via the old model. In this case, the new model identifies L8 by checking the leaf tables of both old and new models. When replacing the old model with the new one after retraining, Rolex locks the old model and inserts L8 to the new SLT. Hence, the new model identifies the modified data via two steps. First, check old leaf tables. Second, insert the new leaf into the new SLT. We run all experiments on a cluster with three compute nodes and three memory nodes. Each machine is equipped with a 100 GB InfiniBand ANIC. We conduct experiments on different workloads using 8 byte keys and value pointers. We compare Relax with state of the art tree based and learning analytics schemes, including SDOR, Sherman, EMT, and FG. In general, the learned next bit schemes achieves higher performance than tree bit schemes on static workloads due to the low network overheads. Relax achieves higher performance than SDOR due to the high model occurrence. Moreover, Relax achieves 1.3 to 2.8 times improvements over other schemes on dynamic workloads, since Relax directly updates the remote data without involving the remote CPU. When configuring multiple CPU cores on compute nodes, Relax achieves higher performance than other schemes in terms of read and write performance. Since Relax effectively conducts index operations via one-sided RDMA operations, Relax asynchronously retrains the index structure to construct the new models and leaf tables. We observe that training models and constructing leaf tables on 128 leaves consume about 300 mUs, which is efficient with only retraining PRR models. For the memory overhead, we observe that leaf tables account for 98% of the total memory consumption. The learned models save order of magnitude space than tree bit structures. In summary, we observe that existing schemes fail to deliver high performance in the disaggregated memory systems. Since the tree bit structures incur multiple network round trips, where the latent assets fail to dynamically change with one sided operations, to this end, we present Relax, a scalable RDMA oriented key value store using latent assets for the disaggregated memory systems. And the main sets include operation decoping, one sided indexing, and asynchronous retraining. The codes of Relax are available at GitHub. Multitudes of relax can be found in our paper. Thank you for your listening.